my name is purti and welcome to smart sustain today we are at pushpalok which is a gated community in hosur that is right outside bangalore the residents of pushpalok were not very happy with the results of their conventional sewage treatment plant as a result they contacted eco stp which has innovated an eco friendly sewage treatment plant that does not require any chemicals or electricity so join us on this special day as we inaugurate this eco friendly sewage treatment plant at pushpalok in sewage you do primary treatment secondary treatment tertiary treatment this was just kind of a conduit where the sewage was being dumped in when a level reaches the sewage water being discharged to the field it has some mechanical gadgets just to uh, like exhaust fan yeah. and some circular or circulators extra but it could not function even otherwise okay. because it needs electricity we are in rural there is a restriction on rural electricity usage because most of the electricity is given to the irrigation second thing is the chemicals all around we have got a cultivated land which has got a horticulture floriculture we can't risk the environment by even discharging iot of toxic water outside yeah third most important thing it needs a lot of human intervention a person has to go sprinkle some chemicals there is no guideline no sop so within 2 3 years it was a defunct we have already invested our money so builder into this yeah the same amount or lesser than that amount we have to again generate contribute to go for the eco step number 1 mm-hmm. number 2 same land which we have got from panchayat we have to again go for panchayat to get same land again and third was what to do with this structure yeah. it still have got some sewage water dumped inside it we don't know so challenges are very high if you do it today your future is bright tomorrow otherwise these apartments i may not be there another 10 12 years and 70 but i can see they will be parching for water because they are not recycling not conserving the water yes so they are just discharging the water and uh, there is a problem yeah. all in the <laughs> so i will recommend it's the right time another 5 7 years before the stringent law comes yeah for stp and the technology yeah. it's better go with some environment i don't know to many other technology may be there similar to eco stp but go with something which is sustainable without taxing the environment minimal human yeah intervention, intervention and no zero toxin into the environment okay. our is the only society in hosur we don't sprinkle urea we don't use any chemical in our except the detergent soap which people are using this this area even after 10 years come you will not find a single tree withering out yes. you will not find a single cockroach coming it so about three years back mm-hmm. uh, i came about came to know about this and uh, almost about 18 20 months back we stopped paying the builder oh. for treatment mm-hmm. of sewage you are charging us 40000 plus gst and uh, he was also letting his sewage of emera okay. into this okay. so he said total cost 80k oh. out of that 40 uk okay. and even then he could never give us it The residents of Pushpalok are very happy that Eco STP completed this project in only under 2 months. The area above the Eco STP can be used as a parking space or a children's play area. This eco-friendly STP produces no bad odor or bad quality water. ವಸದಾಗಿ ಇವತ್ತು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಲಾಂಚ್ ಮಾಡಿರೋದು ನೋಡಿದ್ರೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಸಂತೋಷ ಆಯಿತು ಅದು ಮೂವತ್ತು ಸಾವಿರ ಲೀಟರ್ ಬಂದು ರೀಸೈಕ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡೋಂಥ ಒಂದು ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಅನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿಸಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅದು ಟ್ರಿಪಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಸ್ಕೀಮ್ ಇದೆ ಅದು ಆ ಸ್ಕೀಮ್ನ ಯುಟಿಲೈಸ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಅವರು ತರ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಬಂದು ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಹಾಕಿ ಇನ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ತ್ರಿಬಲ ಇವ್ರ ಕಾಯ
ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ತಗೊಂಡು ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನಿಜವಾಗ್ಲೂ ಈ ಹೊಸೂರು ಪ್ರಾಂತದಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಆದರ್ಶವಾದ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ we are a bio, biomimicry company okay and uh, uh, we have our mentors of biomimicry institute in montana in us our stp solution is based on cow stomach digestion system so what we do is cow stomach has got four ruminant digesters so it has got four chambers and whatever it eats what it gives is good to nature like say cow dung is good milk is good urine is good so so the point is we have copied the same four chambers into civil structure pure cement steel labor and sand that's all you need to build our stp and all the four chambers go uh, three chambers go underground and one chamber goes above the ground like this plant by filter and you put bad water in you get good water out so 90% of the efficiency happens in the three first three stages and the remaining 10% where you achieve less than 10 bod in fact very rarely conventional sewage treatment plant gives you less than 10 bod instead of taking care of our nature we are actually destroying it so that's the purpose i mean can i do something for the nature can i treat water naturally that that purpose was something which drove us uh, as a team and just google www.ecostp.com or call us uh, we are there on google we have we have our own site you can drop us a mail on team at ecostp.com ah. 90% of the treatment happens in stage 1 2 3 which goes underground mm-hmm. and then the final 10% which happens on a plant biofilter where you can see here mm-hmm. these are there are two three types of plants like yeah. kana calocasia and papyrus which we use and as the water flows through this the water gets the plants ensure they are wetland plants mm-hmm. so they ensure they treat the water better and the final 10% of treatment happens in this definitely this is nature based solution yes it's one time capex but uh, definitely there's no maintenance at all so you don't need somebody to operate it you you just need somebody to clean these yeah. uh, leaves or flowers which <laughs> falls that's that's the only maintenance most of the apartments we know have failed stps perhaps they should speak with pushpalok residents and think of migrating to eco stp this is purti biradar for smart sustain signing off